Welcome, combatants, to another day in the arena. It's your boy James, aka NeuralNet Games, and today I'm bringing you a really fun, hard hitting Berserker deck. And the reason I made this deck is, well, I just saw this card. <laughs> and I was like, I need to make a deck around this. I love decks that just have a bunch of different synergies, and there's a bunch of cards in here that interact really well with each other. And I'd love to go over that. But first, let's talk about the Blood Sky Massacre. Create a 2-3 Red Demon Berserker creature token with Menace. Then, whenever a Berserker attacks this turn, you draw a card and you lose one life. Really nice for us to, you know, gas up on turn 4 or 5 with cards. And then, add red for each Berserker you control until end of turn. You don't lose this mana as steps and phases end. Very nice for us to cast a Gold Span Dragon. For us to pull off a big Shatter Skull Smashing, and that's really nice. Like, if you've got three or four of these guys out, you can easily pull off, you know, like a six or seven point Shatter Skull Smashing and really get some crazy work in. Because if you have, on turn five, if you have eight total mana, you can double your damage once it gets to six with the Shatter Skull Smashing. So you can take out two heavy hitters, open up the board, and then just roll in and, you know, mop up. Really fun synergies. And then... Let's just start over here. We've got Blood Chief's Thirst. This is, you know, for Mono White, get rid of those early threats, keep the board open. We need to keep the board open at a reasonably high level. That's why there's kind of a pretty decent amount of removal in here because our guys can be pretty squishy at times, you know, and we'll go over the, each of them, but we have fairly low toughness in this deck. And so we're mostly trying to keep the board open hit hard and make our opponents make very difficult choices. So just, I almost forgot, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel because I'm putting out these fun decks every single day. You wanna hit that little bell icon, it's a notification so that when I put out new videos, you're notified and I am working my butt off. It is 5.35, I have been at this now for nine and a half hours today. I tried a couple other decks, they didn't work. I got to the Berserker deck, it worked. I'm happy now, <laughs> it was tough up until this point. But anyways, yeah, make sure that you're following along and I'm gonna keep putting out quality content every single day, regardless of what it takes. <laughs> okay, next we have Dusk Wielders. These are Elf Berserkers and so they synergize with our other elves and our berserkers. The boast is just a nice little bonus, gives you a little leg up in the beginning. You know, you get create a little separation, do damage and get life back. We have one Vorpal Sword in here because the death touch really makes these guys so annoying for people. If they don't have removal, you can have them kind of sit back um, and be a 4-2 first striker. And that is going to cause a ton of problems. Also, when you attack with them, if you have death touch, you know, it makes it a lot more difficult. And then you can boast and you can kill one of their, you know, big monsters, right? Like if they've got a big creature out and you just have a 2-2, you just attack in and they die and you get a dragon. But if you can attack in and they have to lose something, it's very, very powerful. So that's essentially there the vorpal sword is for the dragonkin berserkers most of the time we got our blood sky berserkers so whenever you cast your second spell each turn put two plus one plus one counters on them and that's kind of why power word kill and stuff is in here we can double spell pretty easily with a blood chiefs and a power word kill wipe the board pump up our guys you know at least thin the board and then they have menace they roll in an attack i've been using these guys a reasonable amount lately infernal grasp removal Power word kill removal, Skemfar Avenger. Whenever another non-token elf or berserker you control dies, you draw a card and you lose one life. This gives our deck a pretty decent amount of resiliency. Yes, it costs us life, but you know, if you get wiped and you got three creatures out, like a board wipe, like Devastating Mastery or Doomscar or Blood on the Snow, you're gonna get a bunch of cards back. So you can just refill and just keep attacking. And it's very good protection. It makes the the deck way less fragile than it would normally be. Talked about the Dragonkin Berserkers, but they are first strike and they can make dragons and they can reduce the cost of boast abilities, which can make these guys boast for free. Not, not very, not going to happen a lot. However, every little bit adds up. 
I used to be a world ranked high stakes online poker player from 2011 to 2014. I played over 62,000 games of poker. The win rate in poker is barely above 50%. A world ranked player like myself, top of the food chain was like 53%. This is in heads up online sit and goes anyways. I'm going on a little bit too long. Anyways, what I'm saying is magic is like that. The best players in the world in magic are like 60, 63%. So every little percentage point adds up. And when you do just a little bit more right, it makes you a lot more resilient yourself to variance in losing because the difference between winning at 53% of the time and 60% of the time it sounds like, you know, it's only 7%. It is a world of difference. Anyways, Kalein is also very good. Human, elf, bard. So this all helps us with crippling fear, right? Crippling fear, we can very often wipe most of the board and keep all of our stuff alive via human, elf, or berserker, depending on what mix we have. Kalein allows us to ramp. Allows us to cast a big gold span dragon, something along those lines, right? We talked about Chatter Skull, we talked about Blood Sky. Agademes is just for us to get a couple creatures back. The good old workhorse, the gold span dragon, of course, is in here. Make some more mana, you know, make life difficult for them. Um, it doesn't really synergize with the deck, but it does make it better. I mean, you almost have to use gold span dragons in a decent percentage of your decks. 24 total lands, two, three, four. 11, 12, 18, 22, 24. We got one Hive of the Eye Tyrant and one Den of the Bugbear, just, you know, in case we get wiped, right? We always got to have some sort of board wipe protection, man lands, drawing cards, protecting your creatures, stuff like that. Anyways, the deck was super fun. I had a great time today and hopefully uh, the deck works well for you. Make sure you comment. Let me know if you built it. Let me know what changes you think uh, would make the deck better. And let's get to it. Okay, we're on the play. We're keeping the hand. I guess that goes after. We'll go Dusk Wielder to Blood Sky to Dragonkin, maybe Blood Chief. Something along those lines. Battlefield Raptor. Okay. So we execute our plan like this. We don't attack. It's pointless. He's getting fooled here. Okay, it's all working out according to plan. Dragonkin Berserker. Blood Chief's Thirst. Uh, you. And they scoop. <laughs> I guess that's how you get it done. Okay, run the draw. Not the greatest of hands, that is for sure. But something we can work our way into maybe. Four lands and a gold, two gold spends can be pretty powerful. As long as, you know, maybe we just get a little bit of breathing room. Um, What's first? Blood Sky? Because, yeah, then I can double spell next turn. Double spell, Dragonkin, Vorpal Sword. I just have one in here. I don't know. It just feels like it makes sense for the deck. Okay, so what do we do now? Now we go Kalein, right? We go Kalein Vorpal Sword. If they have to crew, they can double block still with the Prosperous Innkeeper, which they may be willing to do. Yeah, Kalein. Okay, Morple Sword. No attacks. You're not going to get me with a crew. Not a chance. OK, 
Okay. <laughs> whoops. <laughs> oh, whoopsie daisy. You know, you can't power it up. They're going to do it anyways. They don't care. <laughs> and they went the wrong way on it. <laughs> Watch this. Watch the scoop right now. <laughs> what is this person doing? Holy. You don't really know your deck too well, do you? <laughs> and they have another chariot, of course. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay, so we can do this. Goldspan Dragon. We can't attack with the Blood Sky because we have to wait and to double spell until afterwards. And then we can equip uh, the Berserker with the Vorpal Sword, though, too, if we want. Uh, let's go like this, though. I think this makes more sense. Becomes a 5-5. Five, five. Okay. Looking good, looking good. Ooh, they have their own gold spin. Just running all the best cards, eh? Um, do we even need to kill them here? One, two, three, four. Um, what are they doing? Really? I guess they can. Inscription of Abundance? But are they just so bad? Okay, five, right? Uh, plus eight is 13. We can do 15 next turn. We can do 17. Except they will have one blocker back. We have another gold spin. Let's just hope they made a big mistake. Yep, they did. They're, this person is just wildly out of control and has no idea what they are doing at all. Like, at all. <laughs> like, like, no clue. No clue. <laughs> okay, so we keep a dragon back. Um... We have a Blood Sky. They're at 17. They do have a Den of the Bugbear, too. So I think we're just going to go like this. We're going to be a little bit careful. And we're also going to put a Vorpal Sword on. Uh, or do we do this? Yeah, I think we just do this. Okay, let's see what they got. Let's see what they got. They have just thrown their hand away here. This is sad. This is really sad. Like, what are they going to do here? Okay, so they level up both the ranger classes. And they're going to do six damage to us. Okay. <laughs> They get a moon veil, okay. So, what do we do here? They have one, two, three, four, five creatures. We can put a Vorpal Sword on a gold span, right? 
Um, we can't attack. It will have death touch. So if we attack with everything, that's 7, 15, 17, 20 damage, 22 damage. But they can strike back at us too, right? They can block. Um, hmm. If we attack with everyone, we'll get mana. Okay, so if we attack here, right? We attack these two, we make another dragon and they have to block with the Moonvale Regent. We can still block enough damage, right? Okay, and then this guy right here. We do that, right? And then we let them do their thing. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to put the Vorpal Sword on. It does not matter. Do I want the Vorpal Sword? Okay. Now I have technically enough to activate the Tyrant. I have one, two, three, four blockers. They have five. So let's put the Vorpal Sword right here. I guess on this dragon, yes. Or I could put it there. Yeah, we're going to put it right there. And then we go two for one if they attack. And they can get four from the den of the bugbear. So they have five attackers. All we have to do is hope that they didn't pull, like, something ridiculous, right? Okay. So. Gold span here. This person is just straight clicking buttons. I guess we do that, right? We put a blood sky on the den of the bugbear. We put a skim far right here. And they get uh, five damage on us. What else can they do? Okay. Okay, shields are down, and so we'll just go kill them, I guess. <laughs> okay, that worked well. That person was just, I don't know what they're doing. Okay, we're on the draw. And that can stay alive for a little bit and ramps a little bit. Okay, come on, opponent. Let's get this done. Come on. Okay. We're going to keep seven. We are on the draw. Um. Okay. Sort of, maybe is it? Is it dragons? Power word kill is probably going to be useless then. 
Yeah, let's go clean. Start trying to ramp up a little bit here. Okay. Okay, skim fire avenger, I guess. Okay. They don't have any more mana. Oh, they're in trouble, aren't they? Okay. Let's get a berserker. We have two mana. They have two mana. Good job, shuffler. You're kind of a failure. Okay. Um... This does not help me get into anything else, so it comes in tapped. Uh, we're going to go Dusk Wielder. Nah, we're going to go like this. We're going to go Blood Sky Berserker. Sure would be nice to have been double spelling a little bit, you know? But no. Gotta remember this has Ward 3. You need 5 mana to Power Word kill it. They go for an Expressive Iteration. One more Black sure would be nice like literally i would friggin cast this and kill it if i had to <laughs> you know <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous okay that's better so what do they do Can we keep them alive? <laughs> Probably not. Demon Bolt? They're looking at their a foretold card. Thundering Rebuke is not a foretell, but Demon Bolt is. Or they have a Behold the Multiverse, potentially. Just play your dragon egg. Yeah, it doesn't even matter. These are these cards are dead. I may attack. <laughs> I could literally attack and then double power word kill these guys. <laughs> I'm so tempted right now. Okay, do I go for it? What do they have? What do they have? I'm just going to attack. I can do 10 damage here. Yeah, divide by zero, okay. I can do five damage. And seven damage total. So it's still a two turn clock. Okay. Uh, we'll play the Blood Sky again, I guess. Yeah, because they can get to eight life. Maybe they burn down the house, but then I just gold span their face. You know, it's going to be really fun here. I am going to double power word kill my own guys for the kill. Am I? Ooh, maybe not with that much mana around. What do you think here? Should we gold span? Um. Yeah. They don't have anything that can really stop that. Okay. Um. I can actually, yeah, I should have waited. So that is one, two, three, seven, eight. I'm 
capture N9. I could have double power worded kill and gotten super fancy if I want to, but too risky to a fading hope or something really annoying. Three in a row. Okay, we're on the plate. Gonna keep it. We're gonna start going berserk. <laughs> I'm hilarious. Play the mountain first, James. See what they have. Okay, good. Power word kill is good right now. Um, I guess I'm going to go Dragonkin first. Let's see what they have here. They go two man lands right out of the gate. Very interesting. Uh, not exactly what we're looking for, but that is okay. We can double spell with a Dusk Wielder and a Kill Spell next turn if we play the Blood Sky right now. They could potentially have something like a Snakeskin Veil, but doesn't matter. This deck is meant to go pretty quick, so I'm not going to hold up in that case. Okay. A Dragon's Fire in this deck. So this is some sort of uh, oh, it's the one that has Magda in it. It's the one from the World Championships. It's got Magda in it. You use Jasper as you tap Magda. You can third turn gold spend, stuff like that. Okay. So it's not it's not the mono green. Well, they're really blowing their wad here trying to get things done. Okay. They have four lands. We can still kill things. We can kill a dragon, we can kill something else. They have a chariot, we can kill a chariot. Although they have a fairly big advantage against us. Wow, no land. Thanks, Shuffler. We're four, we're on what, fit, turn five here? Um, no attacks. We'll just power word kill it as soon as they crew it. They gold span, okay. So I guess I power word kill the chariot because I have to do one or the other. Kill the chariot, take four, kill the gold span. Still got Crippling Fear, too, if I can ever get any flippin' mana. Okay, they go Ranger class. Yeah. Break right now. Okay, I guess we just Infernal Grasp right now. Take your two mana. Twelve cards in. Twelve cards in. Two mana. Yeah, they have to choose before though, so that's fine. Okay. I can still do some stuff here. Yeah, level that up. That's going to be nice for them. We can Blood Chief's Thirst. We can Dusk Wielder. Uh, we can Blood Sky. And then maybe get a double spell or something. They have to attack now with this one and pump it up or they risk it, things dying. They can also get another gold span. Nice. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah I don't yeah 
I don't know what other choice we have but to sack these guys at this exact second, which means we're pretty much dead. I don't think there's a single, no, there's nothing that can save us. Nothing. Thanks, Mana. Thank you. Thank you, Shuffler. Okay, I'm going to try and be less angry this game. Oh, perfect. We're on the draw. Perpetually on the draw. Um, Do I go Blood Sky? Okay, so Blood Sky turn two. Turn three, Dusk Wielder, and kill something? I don't think it's much better. What if I get a Kalein or something? I'm going to want to play a Kalein. Ooh, another Ghast. Okay. They want to get some cards. They've done a lot. They've done a lot in a very short period of time. <laughs> yeah, no attacks. They don't need to ramp up anymore. Ah, uh, we just need one more mana. One more mana. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. That's how it's supposed to be done here. I can play a Blood Sky... No, damn you, Kalein. Kalein makes you manually tap more than anything else in the entire world. We're going to hold back and just start slamming their face with a gold span. <laughs> Hopefully we get one more land so we can play gold span uh, two turns in a row if we need to. They're going to meet hook, are they? Um, I can do nothing about that. Okay. Power word kill does not work on Faceless Havens either. Maybe I should just dig it out. It's in there to kind of like help kill cheaply, get some, you know, uh, double spell turns for the Blood Sky Berserker, right? Okay, that's all right too. We can at least take care of a threat, right? One more land would just, would be really nice. Are they going to have some auto kill spell? No. They just deadly dispute. Okay. Maybe they snagged it. That's about how it's going today. You see that? You see that? It's perfect for everybody. It's perfect for everybody today. <laughs> I'm doing okay now, but yeah, I can't power word kill or blood chiefs thirst the faceless haven. <laughs> uh, but we do have another gold span dragon, so that's something. Okay, so what can I actually do here? I can cast my gold span. They can do a fairly reasonable amount of damage to me. But whatever. You attack when you have a gold span. We're not trading right now anyways. God, I wish I had some instant speed killing right now. Yeah, they get four more in. Next turn, one, two, three, four, five. No, they still are a mana away from getting it done twice. Okay. There's a lot going on there. Okay, so we Kalein, right? And then, um, I Blood Chief's Thirst the Ghast. And we take a point of damage. Yeah, I know. I know. Um. Yeah, they're they're gonna kill me because of that. Digging for that one infernal perfect infernal grasp. Hmm. Yeah, 
we're pretty much dead. What can save me here? Can anything save me? Yeah, I have to kill one. I have to kill one. Crazy as that is. Okay. We'll hang on till the bitter end. Why not, right? Get another faceless haven. Why can't I kill you? I want to kill you. <laughs> Hanging on for dear life. We're not going to win, though. Let me be very clear here. Nice. Nice. 